Hi, welcome back. Um, so I'm just going to make this video solely on Matic and my thoughts about where we are right now. Um, some interesting things could happen in the next, well, within the next two days. Something's going to happen to it, and uh, we're just going to have a little overview of what's going on. So first of all, um, just when we look at what's going on as we speak right now, we this was a clear trend. This uh, resistance level is a clear trend. We knew that we could see that, but I put this one in here a little early, and I wasn't entirely sure if it had any relevance to it. But now I'm watching the four hourly play out over this last 24 hours it shows to me that uh, to, that perhaps there is some relevance to it and we are finding support on this as we move up um, and we've we've had these bounces from it also too which you know so maybe there is something to it so if that's the case then I would say that this area needs is going to get filled one way or another and one of these trends is going to break so which ones are going to be that's the question and with, with Matic, I mean, you can do chat analysis on it, of course you can, but it, it's not very easy, and uh, the the main reason is that the chart is only this big. <laughs> it's tiny. It's it's months old, you know. We've got it from sort of end of April until now, so there's nothing. So let's have a look at what we can work out and see if we can make a decision one way or another, which way we think is more likely to go. And to be honest with you, the, you know, the, the be very, it would be very difficult to say which way it's going to go. It could go either way. So, first of all, when we look at this at the very beginning, this is where we started. We, ha we had a parabolic move, okay? And then when I, most, most parabolic moves like this, especially if you look at things like Bitcoin and all the other coins at the end of the bull market, they went parabolic, they retraced. Roughly, let's just say, I mean, some re retraced, you know, 99%, others around 80%, so, and and some a little less than that. So it's normal to, to you know, after a parabolic move in general, with a you know, something like this where it's done a 10x. So we're 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 referring to things that did 10x is at the end of the parabolic run. I know there's a completely different time frame. But referring to all the coins at the beginning of 2018 when they went parabolic and then they declined over a year's period. So 75% to 80%, 85%, 90%, these are the sort of uh, declines we're looking at. And what did we have here? We had a 78% retracement from its all time high to where it pinged up just recently. So maybe that is its bottom. It might be reasonable to assume. Uh, that that you know, in the context of all those other coins going parabolic and retracing, that, that perhaps maybe this was a bottom. Eighty-three percent is seems relatively reasonable um, from a move like this to uh, to to consolidate down to perhaps maybe make, making a bottom around that about eighty-three percent retracement from its all-time high. So that's in its favour, but also what's not in its favour is that it's consolidating all this time over a small period of time. In a uh, for alts uh, in general over the you know for the last couple of months have, have all been retracing and they've retraced significantly recently over these last few days that we you know we are still in a you could call it a bear trend for um, for these coins um, a bear market maybe but um, they might all also be reaching a bottom too. Bitcoin dom dominance is retreating now, so it might, and Bitcoin itself has re retraced quite significantly down to ten thousand at the moment. So, um, so, so yeah, maybe this this is its bottom. But then at the same time, everything took a huge whack yesterday, including altcoins, and they might still have some uh, movement to go. There's no reason why they should be stopping now, and because that's the nature of the market, does that mean that Nomatic is going to follow that? Because it is an altcoin, and it's you know. It's it's vulnerable to those sorts of moves. I don't know. Is this going to be one of those coins that shows us the way forward for all the others? Um, don't know. So another good thing that we've got was we've obviously got these golden crosses. We've got them on uh, the four hourly with the tether, and also we we had them on the four hourly um, with Bitcoin. So that's a good thing. So you've got to bear that in mind too. So you can see where this uh, problem is right now. Um, and you know, working out which way it's likely to go. It's fi it's actually fifty fifty. I, I couldn't tell you one way or another. We're going to break to the up or break to the down. We've got lower highs. We've got higher lows. You know, we've got golden crosses. We've got a bear sort of trend going on with altcoins. 
uh, all these things you, you know this was a move on the back of of news um, it, you know, you know what's, what's next for Matic when it comes to news nothing really not until that Alpha Mainnet comes out I mean Mainnet itself staking rewards all those sort of things and hopefully a Coinbase announcement a US Binance um, hopefully we'll list it but if they don't list it going down you know it's it's 50 50 it's a real gamble but um, is it a gamble you're willing to take <laughs> that's the question I'm not a financial advisor and it's not financial advice me personally I'm taking the risk because I'm I'm sort of accumulating this one for the long haul so I'm, I've, I've been buying Matic pretty much um, I bought it back here I bought it when it came down to two cent around here so I'm underwater with that purchase you know it, it's uh, I'm just accumulating it, so I can't lie to you. I've lost money, I've made money, I've kind of broke even, and I'm well. I'm, I'm up actually, but you know, n not much. So I hope it's going to go up, but hope doesn't do anything. Technical analysis can do a little bit, and when it comes to this, I don't know. I'll probably say the odds are in its favour ever so slightly. If it wasn't for the rest of the market, I'd be pretty bullish on it. <laughs> the rest of the market. Um, we can't escape that. Oscillators want to come down a little. Um, let's have a look where we are on the daily. Uh, but it's not very strong. The volume's not very strong either. So it's an interesting one. So I'll I'll stop rambling and I'll leave it with you there. Like I say, w when you put the pros and the cons together, it more or less makes fifty-fifty. It's very difficult to work it out. So, uh, you know, it's up to you. Let me know what you think. Um, it's going to happen one way or another over the next, within, well, by the, uh, by midday, I'd say. Midday on the uh, 17th. It'll, well, midday by the 16th. We'll know. Yeah, it, will, it will have happened. Anyway, uh, good luck. Uh, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. Have a nice evening. Take care.